Hi, we're the Huge Movie Fanatics here, and we are going to do a review this time of Texas Chainsaw 3D, um, which he reviewed earlier in the year, and I shall review for you now, now that I have seen it. And um, I'm surprised you've seen it, and this is going to, I'm, I'm excited to hear this. Uh, it's one of the better Chainsaw sequels or wow. movies. Uh, I liked it better than, certainly better than 2. I liked it better than three and four, and I liked it better than the beginning. I, I think it's on par with the remake, which, I, as far as the remakes of modern horror movies go, I think Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of the better, is one of the better ones, uh, which I just watched again recently, and I mean, it's still pretty bad, but it's not... I did too, like in the spring, not terrible. and it was... The be I like how it kind of starts, and then yeah. it just turns into just too much set, yeah. just, uh, what's that called, sadistic... Uh, yeah, torture porn. Torture shit, yeah. Um, and this definitely, definitely has that too. Um, and like, I don't really remember much of the movie, to be fair. Um, when did you see it? A couple of weeks ago. I, I, it came out on uh, DVD and I picked it up at Redbox the, the day that it was there. Oh, so, so you saw it in May? Yeah, no, it would have been June, I guess so. It, like, it, it comes out well, <laughs> oh, on comes Redbox out like I think three weeks oh, later or something okay. like that. Gotcha. So I saw it in June. Um, and, well, okay, so, I like that it's... What about the opening, uh? <laughs> the opening, the opening kind of works, but also doesn't. I wish they didn't I include agree. the rest of the family members that weren't present there, because you can't watch, the, like, this movie is a, almost a standalone feature, even though it's kind of a sequel, a direct sequel to the first movie. You can't watch this movie and then watch the second one, ignoring all the other movies and stuff, because it's like, well, none of those family members oh, are yeah. there. Like, that doesn't make sense. So you, it doesn't really work that way. You can't watch this as an add-on to like part two and make maybe have this be the third movie no. because it's inconsistent with what, where the, what the second one actually did, having picked up. So it's like it's its own thing, but it doesn't work with the first movie because of the weird additions they made. So I mean that that just really bugged me um, because <laughs> like I'm a, I'm a fan of continuity and whatnot. And, like if maybe you have like one extra character like that we didn't see like a mom upstairs giving birth or something like that oh. that and, and and like that would have worked why did we have to have all those extra characters and like it was a whole hick village in that house and uh, like that that didn't work for me that said um i like the girl the main girl she was really fantastic Aww. and what you, you know what did you like about her i think she actually she, i've seen her in another movie she's a good actress um but i've seen she was a child star so I haven't seen her like as an adult, and when I was watching this, I was like, "Holy shit! They're rebooting Superman right now." And then uh, I, I, in my Man of Steel review, I said that they should do number two, World's Finest, with Superman, Batman, and then for the third one, do Trinity, where they bring in Wonder Woman. She would be Wonder Woman. She is the perfect blue-eyed, dark hair, full body. She can actually act. <laughs> full um, body and enhanced. I can believe that she would. Uh, like throw punches. hardcore punches and stuff like that. Like I feel like this is That's a Wonder good one. Wonder, Wonder Woman. Oh, this yeah, should be she should be a fantastic with her, choice. With her newly purchased top half, she's great. I don't think so. I think she's always been kind of busty, even in like the early. She was in Percy Jackson though, who came out in like 2009 or whatever. And and she was busty it's and hard she was like say. 15 in that. It's so, hard to say. but anyway, um, <laughs> she. Uh, but she was fantastic, and she was probably the best thing about the movie uh, for me. Um, watching it and whatnot. But why is it that they... Alright, so this is the problem with the horror genre Sorry about as a whole. The problem with this uh, horror genre as a whole. You take Texas Chainsaw Massacre, one of the most purest, brutalist horror films, without actually being violent, particularly. Um, and it's, it's great, it's wonderful. You have your villains and they're vile. You have your hero and she's uh, <laughs> virtuous and then she runs away and, and, gets, uh, and, and gets away from the bad guys. Then they have, the, and this is a problem since Frankenstein, uh, like 1931, I think, um, of <laughs> having to, the need to humanize oh, yeah, the yeah, bad yeah. guy. Uh -huh. You have Leatherface in this movie, who, the, this is not the first time they've uh, humanized That's his character. True, yeah. In the other sequel that they did, uh, the direct uh, follow-up to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, they heroized him as well. And you were meant to heroize these villains, which, I was never the intent, I guarantee you. You asked Toby Hooper in 1974, like, should we be rooting for Leatherface? <laughs> He'd be like, fuck you, you degenerate asshole. Um, 
Uh, and you asked that of Wes Craven, should we be rooting for Freddy? And he's like, we're sick. And like, you're not supposed to root for these characters, yet you find the filmmakers making you root for these guys, so much so that, like, at the end of the movie, it's a showdown between the cops, Leatherface, and this girl, and the girl and Leatherface team up, for whatever reason, to, you know, like, cut down these cops. And I'm like, that is horrible. And a horrible message to send to begin with, but just, it was really just dumb. And I, that's where the movie fell apart for me, where I was like, you know, this is kind of interesting, it's an alternate take and whatnot, on what, what the sequel may have been if they'd done this right away, or something like that played around, but then that happened and I was like, you know what, I'm done. I hate that horror movies feel the need to heroize the villains. They do it in virtually every one of the horror franchises. Um, to, sometimes it kind of works. I kind of feel like uh, uh, it, it worked a little bit with the Child's Play movies <laughs> um, and whatnot, but it just it, it really bothered me. It, sidetrack, did you see the trailer to the uh, Curse of Chucky? I think so. We should review that. Anyway, uh, so, um, anyway, so, back, back on to <laughs> Texas Chainsaw. Okay. Um, I give the movie one and a half. It's better than a lot of the other ones. It's not, it's not as good as the remake, and it's certainly not as good as the original Texas wow. Chainsaw Massacre. But, this movie is what it is, and uh, it had aspects that I liked, particularly the girl, and I, even some of the other characters as well, um, were kind of all right. I mean, I say characters loosely. Um, but the performers, I guess, were watchable and whatnot. Um, a little other phrase, I, I kind of thought they got a good guy to kind of Yeah, capture. I mean, they, they, he felt very much like Gunnar Hansen. And Gunnar Hansen, I saw his name in the movie and whatnot. Oh, yeah, he was sitting in front of that window. Okay, that's beer. who I thought it was. Going, yeah. Give him Jad, he's simple anyway. If you got him there, why not just have him be... I mean, well, he's aged enough, why... Yeah, why I don't I, think he's probably very able, I mean... Now that's the leather face I want to see, the, the one who's just trying to... That's true. ...trying to get by. Um, but, yeah, and you're right, the timeline does not make sense. Like, Why couldn't they have that take 1974, and then she's just turning 18 in 2013, <laughs> 40 years later. <laughs> Why couldn't they have just I done it? Know. I don't know what, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, w one thing I thought was complete wasted uh, opportunity is that... I was so excited when it was starting. Is yeah. that carnival thing and chasing through the yeah? Carnival? I would like to have seen more than the carnival, and I guarantee you that was probably in the script. And then oh. they were just like, ah, oh, I can't. Yeah, that. we only have one night to do this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that was probably very, very quickly trimmed, sort of like the uh, Friday the Thirteenth or Jason Takes Manhattan, you know, where oh, it's yeah. like we're gonna do Madison the whole movie Garden in in New York. We're Every gonna do three fourths. We're gonna do half of the movie. All right, so the last 10 minutes will be in New York, but <laughs> it'll be worth it. Well, we'll shoot it in Canada, and we'll actually shoot a shot at Times Square. Yeah. I hear what you say. So, like, yeah. I mean, it was clearly, like, they were promised a budget, and they're like, right on, we're going to ride this great carnival bit. Oh. All right. And I'm sure, like, I haven't watched the DVD extras or anything, but there's probably, like, a storyboard missing a scene or something like that. Well, what's so great is, like, some stupid kid comes out, in like a saw pig face oh, with, yeah. a, with a toy chainsaw, yeah. and the other face is like, mmm. that was yeah. cool because it was like, screw you, saw. Yeah. So Yet at the end of the day, this was, had a lot of the faults I had with some movies, which was like, it's just torture porn, it's just gross. Yeah. Whatever. This one was less gross than some of the other movies I will say that, um, but it's still pretty, pretty nasty. Yeah. Um, I liked how the other face looked, you know, the, the, the shirt and the stuff like that. And, you know, <laughs> The faces almost look too... Well, I don't, I don't, I don't really care about the face, but I mean the clothes. From everyone after the first movie is like, the, the, like, we have more money, we can make it look more real, but in making it more real, it doesn't look real. It's like the... Uh, <laughs> What's the movie the, the effects? Uncanny Valley with actual... Uh, Uncanny Valley is like for CG movies that try to make things look too real, and then it looks so real that you can tell it's not real. Oh, wow. Um, an example of that would be like Beowulf. Oh, well, that doesn't so, look too real, but yeah. Like, they try to make it look so real that you can start to tell every little flaw. And it's like the same thing with, like, the masks. Uh, like, where it, it's like, sure, that probably feels more like the texture of human skin, but I can't tell that as a film audience member. The mask in the first one, just like in the first Evil Dead, the, like, oh. weird prosthetic, sure, it doesn't 
cost more than a nickel and it's just probably <laughs> like latex that is bunched up on the face in awkward places. That's but so it funny. looks right. It looks like skin that's peeling off and whatnot. I know. I don't get it. Well, yeah. the, the, the horror, the, the, the modern horror current like makeup is so, the thing I hate about it is it all looks so like school. I went to school for this. This is the school way to do it. This is the production design way to do no, it. Like, and it's not the real world way to do it. I'm not even saying it, like in terms of like modern horror. I'm saying like this is inclusive of Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2 and Evil Dead 2. Well, I, like, well no. Well, you're, yeah. you're right. Yeah, but like but it's but gotten worse with it, as years I think it's on. worse yeah. now where things really look like, like I say, in the Evil Dead remake with the hair yeah. running down. It's like the ring look, the 21st century. Nothing works, looks, looks worse than the Leatherface in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Uh, yeah. I grew up with it, so I'm partial because I... I mean, there's yeah. nothing wrong with it. I mean, there, well, I mean, there's certain things wrong with the movie, but the mask itself looks really... I, I like it. I mean, I was a kid. It's yeah. rubber face. Oh, leather face. <laughs> 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 All right. What do you think? That's this is. I'm not gonna really talk because I did on yeah. my review. So what the hell? Yeah. So one That's and a half. It's... One and a half. I give. I still stand by two. That that lead actress, man, Wonder Woman. I think, in all seriousness, if I were, and she's worked with Warner Brothers at least three times. Come on, guys. Like. Recognize this. I mean, she's coming out with the second Percy Jackson movie in like. Two I think weeks. this movie really. I mean, a lot of myself included. I think this movie is the first time a lot of people have seen her, and yeah. I think that they really opened up for. I think there's a lot bigger of a male fan base now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So there you yeah. go for it. All right. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, see you in Texas. <laughs>